tonight, armed guards picked up $1 million in cash from a secret vault. It was transported under maximum security to our protected set, where the entire million will be handed over to one couple. Their challenge? Hang on to it through the most heart-pounding game ever imagined. I'm Kevin Pollack, and this is the Million Dollar Money Drop. before me is one million dollars in cold, hard cash. Each one of these bundles is $20,000. It's all very real, and I'm about to hand it over, all of it, to one very lucky and very nervous couple. So, who are about to become America's newest millionaires? Please welcome Jamie and Chris Senesak. <laughs> Tell us a little about yourself. We've been married for 11 years. 11 years. Proud parents of two boys, Noah and Max, are seven to five, they can't be here tonight. Right? They heard there was some money at stake and said, well, we need all the money, here's what we need to do. We need to go on a tour of all the theme parks in America, and then when we're done, we have to go on vacation. Hawaii for two weeks. All right? We're gonna win this money, and we are gonna do this! All right. Yeah. <laughs> Almost everyone has dreamed what they would do with a million dollars. Well, tonight, that dream has come true for you two. Congratulations, that million dollars is yours. It's real, you can touch it. Let them know how real it is. Oh, yeah. All right, now the question for you two is, yeah. how long can you hang on to it? Here's how the game works. You've got to give us a correct answer to seven multiple choice questions. Each of these drops represents a possible answer to those questions, but only one is the correct answer. Now, the rules are very simple. You've got to risk all of your money on every single question. If you're not sure of the correct answer, you can play it safe. Place your money on more than one drop. However, you must always keep one drop clear. Okay. Put your money on the wrong answer, and it drops. It's gone forever. You don't want that to happen. But if you get through the seven questions, whatever money you have left over, you take home. Are you two ready to play? Yes! yes. All right! You've got a million dollars. I've got seven questions. Let's play the million dollar money drop. All right, you two. Question one, let's see the two categories. Time zones, seasons. Talk time it over. Zones. Time zones and seasons. So time zones, time zones we're different, different areas in different countries. Seasons, seasons. you're from Minnesota. You, from Minnesota. you love Minnesota. fall, you love winter. I'm from all. California. I think we we're definitely seasons. Seasons? seasons. Seasons. Let's Talk go with seasons. The four possible answers for Jamie and Chris on question one are A, first day of summer, B, first day of spring, C, first day of fall, and D, first day of winter. Once you've seen the question, you'll have some time to talk it over, and then we're going to give you 60 seconds to put all your money down. The question is, which event occurs closest to tax day in the United States. Talk it over. Hey, okay. I got this. Which tax event? day. Is tax it... day is my mom's birthday, April 15th. You're right, your mom's April birthday, 15th. 15th. Okay, come on. <laughs> so, okay, 15th, so closest to tax day. So we're following close. 60 we're definitely seconds on, on the clock. It begins. We are definitely on first day of spring or first day of summer. That's we're a lot of money April. to move. Let's go. We are Let's go. definitely talking spring. 50 I am seconds. Very One million dollars. Spring. It's definitely not fall because fall is for the end of the okay, year. First we day are winter, definitely spring. doing Thinking. One million right. dollars. Spring. Forty seconds. Spring, 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 spring. That's a lot of money. Looks like we're going spring. for the first we day in spring. We got the flowers. Uh huh. We got Which rain event in spring. It's tax April. day. April. In the United April. States. April. We sure about this? We sure about it being spring? <clears throat> first day of summer. August. Okay, first day of Twenty summer. seconds. September. It's not so until September. June. Is it's all gonna be in place. April. April is in spring. April okay. spring flowers. Yes. April and spring flowers. Sure. Spring, feel April. It? April brings hey. spring and spring flowers. Ten seconds. Hey, look at me. Are you feeling it? Very strong. Do you sure spring? Yes, I love you. Yeah. All right. All right. The question is which event occurs closest to tax day in the United States? You believe tax day is? In April. In April. In April. 
So you're going the entire million dollars on first day in spring. Now, I have to tell you, during the first six questions, you'll have an opportunity to change your mind after the clock has reached zero. We call this the quick change. When you ask for it, we'll give you an additional 30 seconds to move your money. You get it once in the first six questions. What do you want to do with the quick change? You know, we're feeling good? Feeling good. We're good. All right, let's step up and see what drops. If it's A, C, or D, we're done on the first question. If it's B, first day of spring, $1 million into question two. First day of spring, March 20th. You've got six questions to get through. Yeah. Keep it together, stay focused. You did 100% perfect on question one, yeah, all right? Really You've got six questions remaining. All the money that you have left over after the seventh question, you're taking home. That's the goal. We've got to get there first, all right? Yeah. You ready to look at the categories for question two? Let's do it, let's do it. Money's in place. Two categories for question two. They are presidents, accidents. Presidents or accidents? You read a book all about presidents. presidents right? How strongly do you feel about presidents? Well, I, I, probably better than accidents. Yeah, let's, better let's than do it. Thinking? Let's do it. I think we're gonna do presidents. Presidents? Let's do presidents. All right. Four possible answers. A, Jenna's dad. B, Malia's dad. C, Chelsea's dad, and D, George W's dad. The question is, who was president the day Justin Bieber was born? Was Justin Bieber is, Justin he's, Bieber Bieber is, is very young. He's, 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 he's a pop He's 16 years old, right? Right now. I'm not sure of his exact... So going back 16 his, years ago when he was elected to president. Bush? 16 years ago would be... Um, it's either... Bush? Clock has started. Or, or George it's W's dad. Jenna, yeah, Jenna's dad I, was right before. Gen, was Jenna's dad was actually no, was, was was George Bush who oh, came yeah. in in two thousand. Oh, okay, boy. million thinking, dollars to move. Start moving. Uh, we know it's not. We know it's not Malia's dad because he's in office right now. He's in office. Obama's now. So a lot of money to move, guys. Or, or George. Or George. Okay, so start, start stacking. Okay, where, let's go. where are we going? Uh, what are we do, doing? We're gonna split. Thirty-five right. seconds. Okay. This way. Okay, we're got to move it all. Dad is Clinton. Are you sure this was in this area in time? I 25 think seconds. Dad was uh, Bush. Right. Right, but that no, was still a lot of Which money one? to move. Three. 20 seconds. Which one? Please get Which it in one? place. I'm putting money over here. I'm sorry, right. you, Dad. So and we know which one is not. was who was president the day Justin Bieber was born? A, Jenna's dad. You believe that to be? George W. Bush. And you believe he was president how many years ago? He was president well, that's what I'm eight not years sure ago. About. We like to use our quick change. <laughs> already? You've already decided that? I know he's over eight years old. Yeah. Over 10 years old. I know okay. for sure Justin, Justin Bieber's, Bieber's over 10. Justin older than 10, you're right. You'll have well, 30 he... seconds to make all the moves necessary. We are ready to use the quick change. 30 seconds. Let's do it. Start the clock. Got this. Now. Let's go. You got this? Work it off of here. What is it? Ben? Okay, so. What year were you in Japan? He's 16 years you old, right? Japan. So he's 16, he's 16 years 16, old. Maybe 17. 22 I seconds. Don't know for sure his exact age. 16 or 17 years old. It definitely. 15 seconds. It's got to go somewhere. <laughs> go. Nope. I'm not yeah. sure. You're not I'm sure. Feeling pretty good about that. I'm feeling good. around in 30 seconds. You've got 660,000 on George W's dad, and you've got 340,000 on Chelsea's dad. You use your quick change. The time has come to step up and see what drops. <laughs> if 
If it's A or B, the game is over for Jamie and Chris. C or D, you're moving on with a lot of money. Without question, you are definitely moving on to question number three. It's good to know at least that. Now it's time to realize that you're about to lose either 340,000 or 660,000. Either way, a tremendous loss here on question two. However, if it's George W's dad, you're in almost twice as good a shape. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's Brace it. yourself. Let's One of those giant one. piles is going to drop. That one. That one. $660,000 gone. Justin Bieber was born in 1994, the second year of Bill Clinton's presidency. All right, you two. We understand how absolutely monumental that was. We're gonna let you compose yourself. You've got $340,000 to move forward. Give each other as much love as you can to get through this. That's how hard it is. Here on the Million Dollar Money Drop, don't go away. An extraordinary amount of money. You've just watched more money fall than I'm sure in your entire lives. Devastating, but we move forward. There are five questions remaining, $340,000. Let's take a look at the two categories for question number three. Sexy seniors, diner food. Sexy seniors or diner food? So seniors are either seniors in high schools or senior citizens. Right, senior citizens. It's gonna be like after seniors. You think so? Yeah, or or diner food is. Diner food is, is gonna be like, like home cooking, like hamburgers, and things right. like that. I I'm feeling more diner food. You I'm, want to do I diner like food? food. I'm a food person. How are we doing? I'm a food person. We like food. We're going diner, food. Diner, food. Diner, food. Diner, diner food. Diner food. Diner food. Diner food is a category for Jamie and Chris. The four possible answers are A, country fried steak and eggs. B. Grand Slam Breakfast, C. Heartland Scramble, and D, Western Omelet. Okay. The question is, what is Denny's number one most ordered menu item? Talk it over. Okay, Denny's most okay. ordered um, menu item. Right away, I definitely think that it could possibly be Grand Slam Breakfast. We know, we know Denny's has Country, a Grand Slam. Yes, we know for sure Denny's has a Grand Slam. The other three, I'm, I'm probably torn, but I know for sure that is their signature breakfast. Right. The clock starts. Yes, yeah. I am feeling very strong about that too. 340,000. Steak and eggs. Country it's something that eggs. is definitely on their menu. That's, that's, the, but it's that's, not, a, that's a pound of beef. It's not a popular. The, the question is number most one popular. most ordered menu item. item. Right. I definitely feel You very haven't moved a penny, 40 seconds. I feel very strongly with Grand Slam. When you're I certain, you be bold. Very very when you're not stronger. certain, play it safe. Are we ready to really put everything on Grand Slam breakfast? 30 out seconds. If we do this. You want to place money on, on Western Omelet to, as an option? On a Western Omelet, the number one most ordered second. menu item. But they're going for Grand Slam, right? Grand 10, Slam. 10 seconds, all or nothing, or moving around? Let's do it. We're doing sure. all or nothing. This is it. This is it. beyond belief. Really? Even if you are 100% certain, it is nerve-wracking beyond belief. Oh, yeah. mercy. I feel it. Yes. 340,000. What is Denny's number one most ordered menu item? A, <laughs> country fried steak and eggs. You said no, zero amount. B, Grand Slam breakfast, 340,000. C, Heartland Scramble, possibly healthy, possibly not. <laughs> Nothing Probably on not. that. And D, Western Omelet, 
No money on that drop. Their signature thing is the Grand Slam. Do either of you eat very often at dinner? Sometimes, Sometimes our kids yeah. like to go to breakfast. We'll get a whole lot more if this is right. Our kids like pancakes from Denny's, that's for Yeah, they sure. do. So you're familiar with it? Yeah. Yes. It's time to step up and see what's up. Come on, Denny's. What is Denny's number one most ordered menu item? You've got all of your money on the Grand Slam. If it's A, C, or D, it's good night. Wow. <laughs> I must tell you, Grand Slam breakfast, Western omelet, one of them is the number one most ordered menu item. It's all on the Grand Slam breakfast. Don't move. Don't move. Let's see what drops. for Jamie and Chris. We're gonna take a look at question number four, but I want you to know a couple of things have changed, all right? For example, you notice now there are three drops where there once was four. The rules remain the same. You must still risk all your money and you still leave one drop clear. We're gonna add some more time on the clock. Instead of 60 seconds, you'll have 75 because the questions are about to get harder. Feeling yeah. strong? Feeling, Feeling good. strong. Absolutely. 340,000. Let's get to that seventh question. Here we go. Two categories for question number four Celebrities, area code. Area code. Area code. Right, area codes are going to be for different states, could be different, different states. areas in the country. I'm really unsure about that. I am that. too. I think celebrities probably. I'm feeling probably. more stronger about celebrities. Yeah, absolutely. Than I Jamie and Chris, how you doing? Yep, we're good. I think I we're, think gonna we're do definitely going to go with celebrities. Celebrities. Celebrities it is. Three possible answers. They are A, Dolly Parton's breasts. Wow. They are, OK. Wow. B, David Beckham's leg. Like him, like that. C, Kim Kardashian's butt. The question is, which of these body parts does not have an insurance policy taken out on them with Lloyd's of London? OK. I'm a little certain that Beckham has one. I, I am almost positive that I've heard that as well. So 75 seconds, I'll go. I'll tell you what I'm concerned about. I am definitely confused. I am feeling very strongly, too, about David Beckham's legs. Right. I'm, I, I'm maybe thinking Kim Kardashian would do something like that. Right. Take a Less than 60 out seconds her, to move your money. On her butt. His, Sally Parton's breast. Could have had this for a long time. I think, but for some reason, 50 I have heard this before. Okay, what do you I think? have heard this. What before. do you remember? I don't. I am. I'm to tell you, I'm kind of unsure of which one to leave uh, empty. Okay, I'm definitely thinking I don't want to go all or nothing. Seconds. Forty seconds. Got to move something. You haven't moved think anything one yet. One thing fast about who okay. we don't want to put anything. I, I think one that does not. Definitely. Thirty Parton. seconds. No, no, no. Da no, no. One drop no, must remain has, clear. He has who does not have one? Okay, so let's go here. Which one of these body parts does not have an insurance policy? Does 20 not seconds. Have does not. Policy. I'm feeling 15 strong, seconds. You've got to move something. Think. Everything Maybe must go. Have or does it? 10 that seconds. Move your money. Does not. Oh, my God. Put it there. Just split it. Just split it. I, I'm Which of these 
body parts does not have an insurance policy taken out on them with Lloyd's of London. You made some changes in the last 10 seconds. They're now $200,000 on the drop for Dolly Parton's breasts. Kim Kardashian's butt has $140,000. Tell me why you've decided this. I feel strong that David Beckham has insurance on his yeah, legs. Absolutely. It does get confusing when you're down to that time frame. I, I got a little bit confused with the not has right. insurance. That's I started putting on David Beckham because I needed to repeat the question. Thank Perfect. you for doing that. All right. It's time to step up and see what drops. It is. Which of these body parts does not have an insurance policy taken out on them with Lloyds of London? If it's Kim Kardashian's butt that does not have an insurance policy, you've got $140,000 going into question five. $200,000 on Dolly Parton's breast. All right, that's $200,000 gone. <laughs> You're down to either 140,000 or nothing. 140,000, need I remind you, is an insane amount yeah. of money to yeah. take home. Yeah, it is. Absolutely. It is. Should you get to the end. Ready to find out if you have 140,000 or going home? Oh. I'm afraid you're gonna have to wait a couple of more minutes for us to take a break. <laughs> Oh my gosh! On the million dollar money drop, come on back. <laughs> Welcome back to the million dollar money drop. Jamie and Chris fighting it out. You just watched $200,000 drop on Dolly Parton's breast. All right. <laughs> Time to regroup. The question is, which of these body parts does not have an insurance policy taken out on them with Lloyd's of London? If it's Kim Kardashian's butt, you've got 140,000, a tremendous amount of money, or it's time to say goodnight. Let's step up and see what drops. Remain. Yeah. Here we go. Question five. Two categories to choose from. Online shopping, marriage. Talk it over. Online shopping or marriage. I like online HSN. shopping. Or marriage. I really like HSN. Online shopping. You like HSN? It's it's HSN. Online shopping, not marriage. Could be a massive. I don't know. Marriage or online who's married? Shopping. Who's not married? I, you want to go with marriage? You want to do marriage? We're doing Let's marriage. do marriage. We're doing marriage. Marriage Let's it is. It. How long have you two been married? 11, 11 years. years. 11 years. Answer A, go shopping. Answer B, sleep. And answer C, go to a spa. The question is, according to a poll by iVillage, what did most married women say they'd rather do than have sex with their husbands? I heard it on the radio. Okay. It, I'm, I'm almost certain to sleep. They would rather sleep than have sex. I actually, well, a, okay. A, not, not us. <laughs> I'm almost, okay. I'm almost Our certain. Clock is the ticking. clock is going clock 75 is seconds. It's not about you two. Okay. This is a big, big poll Our that was taken. Our clock is ticking. What did village. most married women say? Heard the results from the 60 from the seconds. Okay. And I'm almost certain. I'm what did most women sleep. say they'd rather do? 
than have sex with their How husbands. How strongly do you feel about this? 50 feel seconds. Really strong. I mean, I'm, I mean, as I'm not gonna a say wife, 100%. as a, I mean, I love you, we've been married 11 years. When certain go people- Go shopping, sleep, go to a spa, that's kind of like, wow. Right. Um, but 40 seconds. Okay, I am with you with sleep. Do you want to be bold? How strongly do we feel about this? this it's a is lot of money. A lot of I money. I mean, one of these is a lot of money. A hobby, hobby. 30 seconds. Okay, you know what? This is what I think. Are you ready? Yep. I said go bold. Because I don't know which one I put the other one on. 20 seconds, you gotta move this. money now. You know what? Feeling this it? is what we're gonna do. You ready? gotta move money. We're going bold. You're gonna we're go going bold. bold. We're doing Fall it. In. Let's do it. Yep. 15 seconds. Sleep. Sleep. Sleep, This baby. is gonna buy us. You can sleep all you want. This is right. Okay. We got sleep. Sleep. It's sleep. Five, four, three, two, one. It's sleep. It's sleep. I, I feel strong about sleep. I feel All right. very strong about sleep. The question is, according to a poll by iVillage, what did most married women say they'd rather do right. than have sex with their husbands? A, go shopping. You said no. C, go to a spa, you said oh. no. B, sleep, all of it, 140,000. Yeah. Chris, you heard something on the radio? Yeah. Right. He felt very strong. It was, about seemed that. like it was just a struggle of what to put anything on as a second possibility. Neither of those two jumped out of what the second one would be. At Our some line. point, to get to the seventh question, you do have to be bold. Yeah. Right. That's a decision you made together. Yeah. And right. now together. You must step up and see what drops. <laughs> if it is sleep, you are soaring on to the last two questions. If it's A or C, go shopping or go to a spa, you've done incredibly well, but you're going home with nothing. We're good. Ooh. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Yes! Now there are two left. Oh. Jamie, you guys have been married for 11 years and you trusted your husband all the way on this one. Yeah. You stand by your man. He says sleep. 140,000. Come on. Come on. $140,000. This is huge. If you make it through this next question, whatever money you have left will be what you could be taking home, all right? This is a crucial moment. The question's going to be more difficult. Going to add some more time, all right? 90 seconds. 90 seconds. You're going to now have three drops, one stays clear. You must risk all of your money on this Next question. Two categories. Toys, internet. Okay, toys, internet. We are too young. Little boys. We're two kids, but we don't know yeah. what. I don't know if I know enough about internet to go with internet. Put, I do toys. 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 The three possible answers to question number six are A, French made Barbie. B is lingerie Barbie. We have boys. And C, Sunday school Barbie. Barbie. The question is... 
Which of these is not an actual Barbie doll ever produced by Mattel? Talk it over. Not an actual Barbie doll. Which of these is not ever that was produced, produced by Mattel? By Mattel. Okay. So, Having boys does not help us, right? No. Now. <laughs> okay. Which one is I not? I don't know a lot about dolls. All right. You're a girl. We got this. Mattel is a kid toy. Right. I don't is know a lot of adult toys seconds. by Mattel. So Clock why is would moving. a kid company? So if we're thinking about this. Do a lingerie Barbie. Unless right? Was, why would a no listen, think, Mattel. Right, it's, it's a toy. Mattel is a toy company that Barbie. does mainly kid toys. And Barbie dolls okay? are Barbie dolls are a kid's thing. Normally for, for So would kids. Mattel do French something, made? Do like a long a long Which one is French not? French made would almost make that could be that could be one of like they did was a character one. That's which one is not? Is which not. one is not? I'm feeling very strong with lingerie Barbie. Do you think lingerie Barbie is not? Well, why would Mattel make a Barbie doll? Seconds. Kid so. toy company make a Barbie doll with lingerie. Do you think that Sunday School Barbie Skinny School is more likely than French made? Okay, Barbie. we're picking which is not. Right. I definitely Got think to we need to, to put some seven. money on lingerie Barbie. Right. We have to put money on okay. lingerie Barbie. Okay. Sunday School Barbie or French made Barbie? Okay, I'm. If you're 100% positive, Sunday be bold. If Barbie. you're not certain. Spread it Sunday around. Sunday school Barbie, it's religious. Okay, right. so would they go religious? Would would Mattel do a religious something? They may, Sunday school I, Barbie? It seems like that'd be more. They would 20 not seconds. do. But is it, is it, You've got to decide. They would not do. Okay. They would not do. But I think they do a French made Barbie. Okay. I say we put lingerie right here and put two over here. Okay? Look. Time's up, guys. Okay. Tell me what you're thinking. This was a hard one. This is a tough. This was a really hard one for me. It, it seems like they, they could theoretically have done, have done any of them based on what the, the market you think I would really be. I really felt strong. Is the least like would be a lingerie Barbie. Yeah, for me, right away, Mattel, I think toys. I just feel like I don't think Mattel would make something. So you got to put your like money in the adult. one that is not Correct. an actual toy. So you're saying you believe that the French made Barbie is a possible toy. Correct. All right. 40,000 Sunday School Barbie, 100,000 Lingerie Barbie. If either of those two is the correct answer, you have made it to the all important question set with a chance to take that amount home with you. Great. If it's French made Barbie, we're done. Let's step up and see what drops. <laughs> Which of these is not an actual Barbie doll ever produced by Mattel? Ever. Whew. Will it be 100,000? Will it be 40,000? Or will it be nothing? Let's see what drops. Oh, gosh! 100,000 gone oh. forever. All right, time to regroup. I want to remind you that if it's C, $40,000 is the average annual income for an American. Yeah. It's nope. a tremendous amount of money without question. Let's just hope you're taking it on to question number seven. Are you ready? 40,000 on to seven? Okay, or you're done? It is what it is. It's going to be amazing, or it's going to be brutal. That's what happens here. It's OK. It's all right. Take a deep breath. We got this. We got it. 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 We got it.
Chris, you've managed to hold on to $40,000. This is your chance to take money home. We're going to change the game up one last time. We've removed another drop. We're down to two. But you still have to risk all of your money, and you still have to leave one drop clear. That means you've got an all or nothing chance of walking out of here with that $40,000. Now, because you've made it all the way to the final question, we're going to make it easier on you. We're taking away the clock. There is no time limit, no time pressure. All right? Yes. You ready? ready? The two categories for the final seventh question are Big Apple, condiment. <laughs> okay, Big Apple, New York. New York. I love okay. New York, but what do we... Do we know enough about New York to feel like I don't know. we can? Okay. Same thing, what, what, what about condiments? You know what, this is what I'm thinking. I love New York. You can make it there? We can make it there. We can make it anywhere. Come on. All right. Big, Big apple. apple. Big, Big apple. apple. In the all or nothing situation for $40,000 are going with Big Apple, the two possible answers are left hand, right hand. The final question is, in which hand does the Statue of Liberty hold her torch? Wow. Left hand, Okay. right hand. All or nothing chance at 40,000. In which hand does the Statue of Liberty hold her torch? Is it, uh, this is hard, I'm right-handed, you're left-handed. Jamie, <laughs> you're the statue. Okay. Let Chris look. Try the other side. It's left or it's right. Which okay. hand is she holding her torch in? Why? You know what? Try when the other side it, again. Here's what I'm thinking. Put the other hand up. When you're looking at it from the shore, you think it's the left, but it's not your left hand. When you turn it around, it's her right. I think it's the right. Oh, I have been there. I have seen the Statue of Liberty. I have taken a boat around the Statue of Liberty. I cannot believe that I... Picture it in your mind. I think it's the right hand. That okay. 50, 50 shot. Let's go with the right hand. Let's go with the right hand. You take one. We're going to put one. You have to hold on to. <laughs> you have to stand together on this. All right. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Right hand. Okay. Although I'm left handed. I know you are. <laughs> All right. You've laid it down. Put it down together. You chose right hand. Statue of Liberty holds her torch in. Put your right Is hand that over your, your decision? Heart. Yes. Right hand. Okay. Right hand. All right. So I'm going to give you one final fact regarding this question. Please understand, this fact is not meant to change your mind. It will simply give you the opportunity to do so if you choose. Okay. I'm gonna give you the fact, okay. and then we're gonna give you 60 seconds oh. to talk it over. All right. Are you ready? She holds a book in the other hand. Right. I'm gonna give you 60 seconds to go through this torture one last time. Mm -hmm. Picture her holding that book in one hand, and the torch in the other, and this clock with 60 extra seconds starts it out right I now. Have, I have something to say. In the Olympics, I don't know if this has anything to do with anything. I don't know why it popped into my head. Which hand do, do they carry the torch in? Does it matter? I don't, think, I don't know. It wouldn't I have any affiliation. No. Um, it's Statue of Liberty given to us by the French. All the torch signify freedom. I, is it left or right? I mean, I can see it both ways. And so can I. I can see it both ways, too. I can totally see it both ways. 30 seconds. I can definitely see it in the right hand. And I can see it... In the left. In the left hand. One of which is worth 40000 the other nothing. 15 seconds. I'm, I'm second guessing myself. I'm thinking left. Change it. Are you sure? No, nope. I'm not sure about that. Okay, let's go. Wow, I can't believe we just did that. 
Tell me why you second-guessed yourself in the end there. This is what is super crazy. I, and I don't know if it's because I'm left-handed, right. but right away, from the minute you said the question, I did have a gut feeling of left hand. It's a wild, wild guess right now. It is a guess. All right. It's a guess. Well, that's OK. But it is time to step up and see what drops. Chris and Jamie made it all the way from a million dollars into question one. Wow. To $40,000 in this moment. Whoa. Which hand does the Statue of Liberty hold her torch? If it's the left hand, which they switched to in the last three seconds, no They've idea. just won $40,000. If it's in the right hand, we're done. Come on. Come on. It's OK. Come on. our instincts at some point. Something told you, switch it, switch it, switch it. She holds the torch in her right hand and the book in her left hand. Let's hear it for Jamie and Chris. What a week this has been. Can't thank you enough for joining us. We'll be back right after the holidays with all new contestants and a brand new stack of $1 million cash that we cannot wait to give away. 